Right, good afternoon. Next thing on our artist trading card workshop uh, book. So, leafing pen resist. Um, it says metallic leafing pen, a Krylon. I haven't got one. I've got these, the Spectrum Noirs. So I've got a three millimeter t um, nib on it. Um, this is the ingredient. So you need watercolour paper. Apparently it works best on watercolour paper. So I've chopped up a bit of watercolour paper. Um, it was one that I got on Amazon Newcastle. Um, it's quite a nice weight. It's a 300 GSM or £140. So um, yeah, so hopefully that will work. Um, yeah, so you need your leafing pen. Now I've also got this thin Pentel Hybrid Roller. Don't know if that'll work. And I was also asked if a Sharpie would work. Gold Sharpie. Again, let's try it. Um, liquid watercolour. Well, you need a brush as well. Liquid watercolour. So I've got this Windsor & Newton Canary Yellow. Um, you can use all the, you know, or yeah, ordinary watercolours, of course. But I thought I'd give it a go with these. And then I've got um, a Dana Rowney Pearlescent Liquid Acrylic. I bet that's not going to work, actually. No, right, okay. I think it's going to need to be a watercolory type thing. Um, what are you? Acrylic ink, right, okay. Um, I have got a crimson. So that's just ink. Is that going to work like watercolour? Should I just be normal and use watercolour? <laughs> I think I will. So, right, okay. I, um... I was advised, I, I asked um, some very arty people what best watercolours to get and they said to get the um, Windsor & Newton, hang on, grab them out, the Cotman Windsor & Newtons, so I did. The only way I could get them was in the little tubes, so what I've done is um, I had this sort of palette thing, it's a Tim Holtzy thing. I think you, I don't know what you use it for, for Tim Holtz. Anyway, uh, so what I've done is I've squirted a bit of each of these in here. And then I've done a colour swatch here so I know what's what. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to, because, you know, obviously with watercolour you can just reactivate it. So that'll be that. That'll be the watercolours. Now, fluid black acrylic paint. A while ago, I put, uh, the trouble is I can't remember if it's gesso or paint acrylic paint anyway i watered it down you can hear it sloshing uh, in one of these little squeezy bottles so i'm going to give that a go and a rubber stamp right okay i've got a rubber stamp set here which i've never used so we'll try that and that is for stamping after you've done everything else so we don't need any of that yet um all right well let's just dive straight in so uh, step one, apply leafing and colour first. This technique works best on watercolour paper. Draw on a card with a metallic leafing pen. Here I am using gold. Then use a brush to apply liquid watercolour over the card and hopefully the metallic paint, it says, see how the metallic paint resists the watercolour. We'll find out. Then it says apply more colour. Apply a second colour and let the two blend together and then let it dry. And then number three, stamp with black ink. Dab fluid black acrylic paint onto a rubber stamp. So I wonder, you could just use ink, I think, uh, you know, like a an ink pad, I think. Anyway, and stamp over the dried pen and watercolour. I might not use this. I might use, um, uh, you know, just a bog standard stamping pad. I've got my VersaFine black here. So I might do that and then just go from there. So, yeah, let's just just do it, I guess. And then, you know, obviously you decorate it from there. So let's find out, shall we? So I'm going to try all three because <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this I think will work. It should do. This has got quite a rough or a smooth side. So I'll do one rough, one smooth, one rough. There we are. So let's try this one first. So I'm giving it a good shake. So um, do I particularly want to draw anything? Um, she just dabbed hers on. 
I don't know what those pens are that she used, whether they're more liquid than this, but anyway, um, I don't know, let's just do some squiggly squiggles. I think I'm going to go quite bold with it because looking at hers, she's got sort of chunks, if you like, you know, quite thick bits, so just, just do what you like. <laughs> <laughs> there's no um there's no ATC police as far as I know just just play but I didn't know it resisted like this so this is kind of why I'm doing this little thing there's loads of you joining in I'm so chuffed thanks guys a lot of you get in the book again it's for me it's revisiting old techniques that I used to do literally years ago but this I've never tried so I didn't know this stuff resisted so we're going to learn something together. Right, so that's that one. I'm quite liberal with it, I think. So, okay, right, that's that one. Let's try the Sharpie. This is on the smoother side of the watercolour card. I don't, as I say, I don't know if it's going to work. Let's just do some... Not very fluid. I'll colour it in to give it its best chance. Why isn't that looking gold? What colour are you? Oh. Okay. Well, we'll give it a bash and we'll see if it works. If not, we can always go over it with the other pen. Good coating. Come on, behave. Okay, it doesn't look very metallic, that's my only worry. <laughs> oh well, right. And then let's just try a normal sort of metallic gel pen. Uh, what should we do? Let's do, let's do lots and lots of circles on this one. Right, well that one at the, is at least metallic so we'll see if it resists so that should have had enough time to dry just need a smallish brush okay. let's bring in the old paint smell can you see yes it's come over this way susan because you're creeping over again right so it's going to put some water in here it's not very clean so i apologize for that um, I think I want to go sort of yellow and blue. I'll do yellow first. I presume you just go straight over it. I don't know. Well, it's resisting, so that's good. Yeah, see it pushing. I don't think you can see it's pushing back. Let me get you down a little bit. Hold tight. You watch when I put it on there and see it pushing it back. So we're just painting the whole thing. I'm just looking, yeah, she just put sort of like yellow all over or blue all over hers, but I'll go with this one. Quite watered down. Mind you, these are these are nice paints thank you whoever recommended i think um tori you did and somebody else did as well so thanks guys for the advice it's a mid-range i think that set was 19 pound that i showed you so 
Okay, yeah, it has resisted, so that's all good. Cool. I'll just let. Oh, I've got to put the other colour on. Um, let's go straight in with a blue, I think, and then we'll get some nice greens, hopefully. We're getting some colour mixing going on there. Cool. It's actually, you can see the, um, it's got like a grain in the paper. See it running down there. We'll play with that for a minute. <laughs> Just because. Right, okay, we'll shove that there. Right. Um, get the paper towel. Uh, what should we do next? Let's do the hearts. I do like the cadmium one here, so let's get some of that on here. Again, I don't know if this is going to work, but let's water it down, see if it pushes it away. Not as much as the liquid one does, the liquid ink. Yeah, it's not resisting. I don't know if you can actually catch it there. See, it's not resisting it like the other one did. This one has completely pushed it away. That is not. So this is the Sharpie, but that's fine. We'll carry on. It's definitely not pushing it away. Yeah, okay, well that doesn't work, so it all um dabble. Okay, well, it'll dab off. That's something. So I don't know. I don't know what was up with my sharpie. I'll be honest with you. It's not very uh, metallic at all. So okay, I'll let that one dry. We'll see. It might come back. So that's that one. Sorry for reaching in front of you. Come here. Right. Should we do blues on this one? What should we do? Um, which I might do let's do the purple so it's that one again let's see if it resists first Ooh, that's not doing too bad yeah that's pushing it away cool okay A bit of the old burnt sienna. Again, I've got those lines going on there, so we'll we'll use that to our advantage. Okay. It's kind of resisting. I think the only one that is really successful is that liquidy one. But, you know, let's give them a minute to dry, shall we? And um, we'll see how these go. Right, I'll come back to you when they're dry. Won't be long. 
Right, we're all dry. I'm just sort of trying to suss out. I think it did sink in under the um, Sharpie marker. I wonder if I put more on top, if that'll make any difference. Not really. We'll just stick with what we got there. Um, I think the gel pen kind of worked. It's kind of resisted it, but obviously this one, you know, with the liquid gold is, you see, it still has seeped under there. I don't know if you can just see the difference in the colour there, but do you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's worked. So it's all good. Now it said to do some stamping, but I don't know. I've chosen some weird and wacky images. I can just get them in the screen there. I'll show you them anyway. Right, um, okay, uh, well, hmm. let's do a bit of stamping then, I guess. Um, I'm just sort of thinking of using this cheapy set that I got in the charity shop. Um, I might just do some of this lettering. That'll do. So, there we are. It's nice and easy. As I say, they do get more complicated. <laughs> I'm not going to put an awful lot on here, just bits and bobs, I think. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I just grabbed the book again. Because what she's done is stamped the background here to go ugh, under that image there so you could do that if you wanted to but i haven't got a stamp like that so we'll just do a bit of wordage and that'll do that'll do that'll do fine so there we are that was fun your fingers are full Susan just use them right so for this one I've chosen I, I was playing around with some jelly prints yesterday so I sort of made this plant pot basically <laughs> for want of a better word and I've sort of chosen the word hearts so I thought I'd just put that up there or something yeah that'll do I think once it's inked around again it just to me it always makes the difference so we'll have a look we can always put add more stamping if we want to. The sun is about to disappear on me. Poor people coming down here on holiday this week. <laughs> the weather's shocking. Oh. I think that'll be enough actually on these. Yeah, I got some of my really ugly gel prints and just sort of drew some scribbles on them. Whilst I was waiting for phone calls at work. Because, you know, why not? It's better than sat there bored out of my skull. all the difference doesn't it yeah i like that one i'll give you some well you're pretty close up <laughs> i'm trying to remember not to shout because um uh, let's do this one next because i've got this little fairy girl i thought she was rather cute it's from those um i showed you last week the uh the freebie ones that I found on Pinterest so as long as it's for personal stuff it's fine which is what this is it's just for little old me So 
I'd stand her. Whoa, stay still, love. I'd stand her on here. Oh, actually, oh, darn. I know what else I was going to do. I've got these um, tissue circles that I punched out. I wondered if she needed a bit of a background, bless her. I was wondering about putting one of those on there, but I shouldn't have stuck that down yet. That could have tucked underneath. Oh, such a wally. Wait, hold on. What colours did you have on you, dear? Yellow. Yeah, I think she needs something. I could put blue on there, couldn't I? That stopped sticking to me. Stop. <laughs> it's nothing quite like having sticky fingers with tissue. Oh, hang on, this might... Not a hell circle. Darn. Didn't check that before. I... Trouble is, there's like hundreds in here. Let's see, they're all stuck together, so bear with me. She could stand down there a bit, actually. We'll do that. Right, okay. Uh, blue stick. You're awfully close. <laughs> you hear me breathing, don't worry. Actually, if I put it there and I'll just you'll need a coat of matte medium oh fiddlesticks bear with me right I've got a dob of matte medium out hopefully that'll sink through there actually shows the gold through. That's quite snazzy. Well her wings stand out don't they? I think if I just put her there. Have I got another bit of um maybe I could put that let me just see what that'll look like. Sort of echo it there. No, no. Oh, just live with the gap. It's the gap. <laughs> it's, it's the gap. Mind you, the colour is coming out of that quite a lot. It'll be fine. Just stick it on soon. I really want to stood on there. That's fine. Yep, that's good. And I did pick out some words. I got the words, let yourself rest. So maybe... On there actually she can stand on top of that right you can lift your legs up love just for a minute stay there <laughs> I know you talk to your stuff as well so don't come don't come at me telling me I'm mad or anything I've been shopping today with my daughter so that in itself is a trial okay 
So. <laughs> and clothes shopping as well. Bluminate clothes shopping. That is not. But I did get some nice second hand tops in the old charity shop. Oh, that was good. Oh, come on, this was supposed to be dead easy, this one. I'll put you down there. It'll cover over that words, but that's fine, the stamping. I thought this one was going to be like, yep, yeah, we'll just slap it down, it'll be fine. No, clearly not. Right, you stand there, darling. Right. Let's give her something to stand on because she looks like she's just floating. I use the matte medium to spread it. That'll do. Right, stop faffing for goodness sake. Okay. I bet you do yours in minutes, don't you? <laughs> Me? No, not so much. I don't think my Tim Holtz cutter is very well at the moment. It keeps on not chopping completely. Right. That's it, right, one more. Bear with. I end up with like a little square. <laughs> I know you do too, so don't don't tell me otherwise. Right, so I've got a oh here we go, here's a peeler. <sighs> to talk amongst yourselves for about ten minutes while I struggle. I just thought this would look quite nice on there because it's the right colours. And hopefully. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Got it. <laughs> right. watercolour isn't it so it might activate enough to I just thought it'd be quite nice it would show the um the metallic stuff through but anyway. whoa I need to stab myself with scissors here. So I thought put a nice blue butterfly on there and then have the word traveller because they are travellers in my eyes anyway. Something like that? Yeah. Why not? Uh, right, let's put the word down first. I'm definitely finger and thumbs today. Fingers and thumbs. I'm getting totally confused about which day is which. I thought today was Saturday, but clearly not because we do this on a Friday. <laughs> I know. It just sucks getting old. I did get the kids some Easter eggs though, so that was good. So they're going to have their Easter eggs. Although Scarlet's up in London at the moment having the Harry Potter experience. So. Which I've no doubt she'll absolutely be buzzing about when she comes back. Right. Okay. It's there. We're done. Okay. The pain is over. Let's just get that pin back in that blooming bottle. Right. That was nice and easy. Nice easy peel off. 
I thought the couple of colours went well. So it's got a bit of purple in it, like the background. <coughs> Excuse me. I really must get a new sponge. Right, there we are. So that's that one. So yeah, it kind of works with those pens that has kind of resisted. It wasn't a terribly juicy gel pen, to be fair. But um, And this is the one with the, um, what are you called? Sharpie. Um, yeah, again, it kind of worked, but yeah, it's fine. Actually, it has be it's better since going back over it. So you could just do that if that's all you've got. Don't go out and buy new pens. Just use your Sharpies if you've got one of those or a gel pen and just make do. You don't have to go out and buy tons of equipment for this thing. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that's all right, actually. It's coming up now. And getting the gold. Yeah, so just go back over it, basically. And then the one that was very successful was the liquid colours. So, that's why I'm... Yeah, you can definitely see it's still very metallic there, so... Right, that's my little experiment, my three little doofers. So I need to do, oh, I've done the split thing, so that's all good. So, one, two, three. And now I'm putting the prompt in front. I must go through and colour the um, index cards, actually, but... Yeah, it's working well. I'm glad I kept the other one. I think I might need... Oh, I don't know, actually, it squishes up quite well, so it should be okay. Right, that's it. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed that. And as I say, I'm so pleased that you're all joining in. It's it's lovely. It's just fun, isn't it? I mean, it's just so simple. None of it is, um, you know, none of it is mega exciting. No, yeah, not exciting. Um, mega difficult. It's exciting, of course it's exciting. Let me see what we've got next time, see if there's anything specific, specific that you need. Dye ink pad, coloured glazing medium. Pigment ink and iridescent ink, I've no idea. Okay. It's about layering. Okay, I'm going to have to suss out what these are because I'm not sure. Right, okay, I'll see you next week for inky layers. There you go. Have a good Easter weekend. See you soon. Bye. Bye.